Hi everybody, my name is Matt Haynes, I'm an audiobook narrator, and I am on a mission to acquaint myself with 52 accents by April 17th, 2016. We go to number 46 in the series, New Hampshire. The whole point of this uh, video series is to give myself a wide variety of accents to work with so that if an author gives me a character uh, that I need to narrate and that character is described as being from a particular region, then I've got some tools that I can work with uh, so that the accent is consistent and uh, considerably more well-informed than if I were just taking a shot in the dark. I'm going to share five highlights of what I'm learning about the New Hampshire accent so far, and then we're going to apply those uh, to song lyrics later on. But first... Before going to highlight number one, uh, this is a reach out. Uh, the comments below in these videos, any specific tips people can give are very helpful and also referrals. It has been very difficult to find uh, a variety of New Hampshire accents that have a distinct New Hampshire sound. Now an accent tag, you'll get a lot of people that sound very much like a general American accent. What I'm looking for is a distinct New Hampshire accent. Um, usually, uh, I would guess, from the rural parts and from uh, an older generation. It's very difficult to look on YouTube for New Hampshire and accent and then without getting swamped by just political videos. Um, so I'm putting it together just as best I can, but referrals would be great. Let's go to highlight number one of what I'm figuring of the New Hampshire accent so far. Um, the resonance. This is the mattoon. Uh, this is a picture of me. I normally wear glasses. What I'm finding with New Hampshire when I'm doing uh, the very distinct version of the accent is that the sound goes down uh, in the back of the mouth and towards the lower molars. Now I'm finding when I do uh, neighboring Maine, which is where I grew up, down east Maine, uh, it's more towards the upper molars, but with New Hampshire it's going down towards the lower ones. Um, so we take a general American accent with the lyrics that we'll be doing, end of the world becomes end of the world. Highlight number two, uh, relationship to the R. I'm finding that the R doesn't necessarily drop completely, but there are some changes that happened. For words ending with O-R, it becomes O-A. I'm representing that with the capital O and the lowercase u, O-A. Uh, A-R, A, um, and then E-R, E with a slight er uh, in there. So again, with the, uh, the lower molars, E. Um, so, for example, we take the word ignore, uh, O-R, becomes something closer to ignore. We take the word, uh, or the phrase from the lyrics, I think it's dark, it becomes, I think it's dark. And then uh, three, the word, the word, world, from the lyrics, uh, even though world is W-O-R-L-D, the sound is er, so it becomes world. Highlight number three in the New Hampshire accent, um, the S becoming uh, almost an SH sound, uh, which is something that's also common in the Down East Maine accent. Um, so uh, it looks like rain becomes it looks like rain. Highlight number four, the abbreviation of endings of words. So uh, ING as in uh, running becomes running. Uh, out, instead of hitting that T right on the nose, it becomes out. Um, dead becomes dead. Uh, this is something that, uh, actually in the previous three examples, I kind of blew because um, I, I tend to have the performance element of enunciating the T's and the D's, but they do tend to be abbreviated in the New Hampshire accent from what I can tell. Highlight number five, the music of the New Hampshire accent. Um, I'm finding that with general American, we get a da-da-da, um, whereas with New Hampshire, it tends to start up and broad and then come down a bit. So we take uh, the sentence from the lyrics that we're going to do. It's just the way I smile. Uh, general American, a bit of an exaggeration. It's just the way I smile. New Hampshire, a bit of an exaggeration, but just so you can see the difference. It's just the way I smile. Okay, everybody, it's time to hit the studio and apply these principles and a few more to Plain Song by The Cure. 
I think it's dark and it looks like rain, you said. And the wind's blowing like it's the end of the world, you said. And it's so cold. It's like the cold if you were dead. And then you smiled for a second. I think I'm old and I'm in pain, you said. And it's running out like it's the end of the world, you said. And it's so cold. It's like the cold if you were dead. And then you smiled for a second. I sometimes feel like I'm living at the edge of the world, like I'm living at the edge of the world. It's just the way I smile, you said. The lyrics to Plain Song are by Robert Smith. The music is supplied by the very generous and versatile Kevin McLeod, who gives this stuff out for free and uh, royalty free. Everybody, comment below what are some specifics that could help improve the accent. Also, for the few ones that are left, uh, is there an accent that you'd like to hear or a song to put it to? Everybody stay tuned next for 47 Cuban and rock on.